Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Clueless Stringer. Please excuse the mess in the background. Uh, needs to do a bit of tidying up in there. Uh, yeah, anyway, today we've got um, a Guinness. Now, I'm a big fan of Guinness. Um, it's, you know, it's always nice to have a Guinness every now and then. Especially when you go to some pubs and their range isn't the best. You'll always know that if they've got a Guinness, you've got something to drink. Now, this one is one that really interested me. And I hear a lot that people, oh, by the way, excuse the grease here, it's really sunny outside and I've just started a barbecue, but I thought I'd quickly, as it's just getting settled, come in and shoot a review. But yeah, I've heard a lot of people over the years saying, oh, Guinness never used to taste, never tastes like it used to, like back in the 70s, that sort of thing. And yeah, I saw this when I was in Tesco, it's part of the two for, uh, four for six quid offer. And this is the Guinness Original uh, XX St. James's Gate Dublin and it's their Guinness Extra Extra Stout. I love the classic and vintage look of the bottle. Great label, some great imagery on the a nice jet black looking bottle. Well, it's not jet black, it's really like dark, dark mahogany. But yeah, a gorgeous crown as well. So before I get into it, I'll quickly read what it says on the back. If you were in a pub between 1821 and 1970, chances are this is the Guinness you would have been drinking. Originally brewed as the XX version of our porter, it's hoppy, roasty and crisp with a bitter sweet finish. So uh, yeah, definitely sounds tasty indeed and it's 4.2% so not too heavy. So anyway, let's get this opened. Not much going on in Turn of smoke. I'm going to pour it into my half pint brew dog glass. And oh, yeah, that's pouring really dark, which is what you'd expect. I'm going to pour that all in. But yeah, in terms of colour, uh, it's almost jet black, but with a brown hue. You can see a nice, sort of like um, pale mahogany sort of colour at the bottom. Head poured one finger and it seems to be nice and compact bubbles almost looks creamy seems to maintain in very nicely indeed and uh, yeah it just looks really fantastic so let me give it a little bit of a sniff yeah roasty toasty malty sort of biscuity maybe Gary Baldy there's almost like a, a dank cherry fruitness to it as well. And yeah, it definitely smells hearty indeed. It definitely smells like this is a beer that could warm your shackles. Uh, but yeah, this is relatively... It's not... Well, yeah, it is chilled, I tell a lie. Um, in this weather, that's how I'm been drinking my beers. Um, so hopefully it doesn't take too much away from the flavour. But yeah. Almost getting like a smokiness as well. So yeah, let's give this a taste. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's dense, that's rich. The head's disappeared actually quite quickly, leaving a fine layer of scum on the top. Let's give it another twizzle. It's actually not as um, heavy on the mouthfeel as I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be slightly creamier, but it's not. Uh, it leaves you with an almost very, very, very faint dry finish in the background. But yeah, a little bit smoky in there as well. But yeah, it's deep, it's roasted, it's hearty, it's malty. And it has got a bittersweet finish at the end. Those like dank fruity notes that you pick up on the sniff aren't really evident in flavour, which is quite good because I can imagine that being quite off-putting. But yeah, all in all, this is a very satisfying beer indeed. And I actually think I prefer this to the standard <coughs> Guinness. Excuse me. Um, yeah, that's really, really nice. And even though it's chilled, it's still very nice. Um, obviously it's not crisp and refreshing because it's a Guinness, 
Uh, I never really get refreshed when I drink a Guinness. Um, although it's easier to drink, I've found, than um, when you get a standard Guinness on tap. I was having one yesterday and it took me like 20 minutes to drink it. I was enjoying it, but I was rarely taking my time with it for some reason. Probably because I was you know, in the middle of a crawl. Uh, but yeah. That is very nice indeed. Now, I'm not really too into stouts, but um, that is a very nice example. And, uh, yeah, give it a try. So thank you guys for watching. Check out the Colour Trick Play some more, and I shall see you later.